a run, mile and a half, stop, do some press ups, twist my torso a little bit, and then run back a mile and a half. This is part of my golf training, really. Um, but I can't go live on my golf channel yet. So, but yeah, when I'm live on my golf channel, I'll be doing a lot of training on my golf channel, but it'll be more fitness and flexibility based. Now, when you're running, my advice, don't drink too much water. When you're doing any kind of cardio, don't drink too much water. Just spit that shit out, yeah? Now I've got a mile and a half to run. I'm gonna, all right, Eugene, how you doing? Running, three mile run with some bit of shadow boxing in between some press-ups, some torso twisting. Um, and then when I get back, I'm gonna crucify my legs. Just through my 20 key bar, I'm gonna do hundreds of reps, man. Uh, and this is really part of my golf training, a little bit. Do you know what I mean? So, I'll keep you all. I look gorgeous with my shirt off. Well, my shirt's staying on. It's probably gonna be drenched by the time I get back. I am going to start running. So, when I start running, um, I always walk first. And then when I feel like running, I'll run. So, here we go. I'll keep you in mind while I run. Mile and a half to do. I won't be able to read comments until I stop. Um, I ain't that good. I can talk to you a little bit, probably, while I'm running, but I can't um, read comments. So yeah, I have been getting bigger just lately and stronger. Um, even though <laughs> Gary Duncan thinks you can't get stronger and bigger by lifting like 50 kg in your house. You can if you do enough fucking reps, Gary. <laughs> do you know what I mean, right? But through that putting on some size, I've lost a little bit of my fitness. So, this is now the road to get back to as fit as what I was, because I'm not as fit as what I was. Definitely not. I'm not mega unfit, I'm still fit, but I'm not as fit as what I was, man. I mean, obviously, <laughs> running, talking to you lot on camera, is not gonna be easy. It's gonna make the run a lot harder, <laughs> but, I like to challenge myself. So, I'll be doing this three mile run, probably, I did it not yesterday the day before. Um, and I'll be doing this for the next two weeks, every two days. And then I'll move on to five mile. I'll up the distance. Um, and then, yeah, smash it out, basically. Get my fitness back to where it was. I'd say I'm probably 70% fitness now, at the moment. So, my fitness level is not where it should be. We're not bad for a 42-year-old geezer <laughs> who smokes bad green. You know what I mean, seriously. But it's because I have tortured my body for years and years. I'm always wondering how long it's gonna be before my body goes, no more. <laughs> before my body and my heart's like, you have pushed so much in your life. Can I do it, Captain? <laughs> I definitely have the pillar. It will happen one day, I reckon. Maybe, when I'm about 95. <laughs> but until that point, I just keep going. Have you noticed as well, it's so rare that like, you'll see YouTubers, not all, but a lot, and they'll be like, just done my morning cardio, just done this, just done that. But you don't see it. 
Oh shit. Oh fuck, it's blocked off. Um. Oh fuck me, they blocked the hole. I they blocked it off. Shit. Fuck it then, we'll road run. I'll road run it. It's a bit of a bitch, I don't like running on the road. Not because of people watching me. Just because of all the fumes from the fucking cars. I don't like breathing them in while I'm running. I ain't really got no choice now because that way's locked off. And I'd have to, it's like a mad way to get to Warren's Hall without going that way. So I'll just road run. Fuck it. I don't like road running though. Like I said, I'm always uh, breathing these fumes, man. And I don't like it. But if I run down here, like a mile, I'll come back onto the canal from the other direction, so it's not done. Tell you what, it's a nice day today. This is a proper nice day today. Sun's out, guns out. <laughs> this is probably going to help with my uh, my golf. Get myself fitter. Proper, trust me. And losing a little bit of weight, it's going to do nothing but benefit my golf. Seriously. I'll be able to uh, access my hip movement and stuff more. So, this is why I'm doing it. I mean, I always jog and I always stay fit and healthy. But, you know, I'll read comments when I stop, by the way. But yeah, I always stay fit and healthy, but sometimes you just gotta go that extra level, man. You gotta, you know, bring the beef up. So that's what I'm doing right now. Making this 42-year-old body bend to my will. That's what I'm, literally what I'm doing. Yeah, and me, I'm different to most YouTubers, I don't know if you've noticed. Like you lot have seen me hit the bag for a long time. <laughs> Shadow box for a long time. Train for three hours straight. You get to see every step that I run, every mistake that I make, everything first hand. Not like me saying, oh, I've just done this and I've just done that. You get to see it all the time. That's the difference between me and most people. I'm so fucking honest to the core. It's unreal. I always will be. And I'll never change. Because I believe that you lot should see honesty to the core. I don't think that it's going to give you any benefit for me to say that yeah, I run. And then you never see it. I'm always saying it's sat on my fucking set. Hey. What's the point in that? One minute. I've got to stop to put the top on this bottle. There we go. So, what's the point in me just saying, yeah, I do better cardio, you know. I'm a cardio beast. I'm fit as a fiddle. Just believe me in that. You know what I mean? Because, you know. <laughs> nah. I'd like to show you what can be done. So, yes. 42 smoke quite a bit of weed as well but as you can tell man can run and talk to the camera <laughs> that takes some fucking cardio let me tell you running is one thing talking whilst running is totally another am i out of breath yeah am i feeling it yeah am i dying no <laughs> nice hill coming up now though. A nice hill this one. Oh, it's a good hill. Yeah boy. This one's making my legs burn. Come on you bastard. Don't forget I've played golf four times this week. <laughs> And trained every day, every day. 
Fuck me. Man's a machine. Literally. I'm a fucking machine. <sighs> Imagine if somebody ever offers me this 50 grand for a fight and I train. Don't. <laughs> and I train every day for 12 weeks. What fucking machine will I be then? God damn. <laughs> God fucking damn. That was a good hill, man. It's leveling out now. Fuck. Yeah, boy. Oh, oh that was burn. It's on the level again now. Fucking hell. That was a good hill, man. That was a good 400 meter hill. Oh, now my legs burn. Nearly there. I've done just over a mile and a half. About a mile and three quarters. But I had to change routes. So I've done a little bit further than what I've, I was going to. But the more distance the better. Plus on the way back, it's a little bit shorter now. So it'll probably still add up to the three mile mark. I'm going to finish strong. Oh, fuck. Walk that shit off. Oh. Hold on. Run that. It's fucking baking heat, man. Oh, so now you can comment. Now I'll be able to read your comments. So now you can comment. So now, press ups. Um, bit of shadow boxing. And then just over a mile back. And then when I get home, Loads of squats, man. Destroy my fucking legs. Make them squats hurt. I'll do hundreds of reps, man. Um, you've seen me doing before. You've seen me do like nearly 200. Yes, brother. How you doing, bro? Is you good? Is you feeling frisky? It's bloody hot out here. I'll tell you that now. It's hot out here, mate. Go over to that little, there's a little concrete platform over there. I'm just going to do, not too hard shadow boxing, I just want to move my shoulders because this is golf training, so. Oh, the power was out half an hour ago. Ah, well, it's no biggie, bro. It's no biggie at all, is it? So yeah, now over here, it's going to be baking down on me as well, man. And I'm not going to go for a, a large number of press-ups. What I'm going to do, is I'm gonna do a very slow negative to a hold. Oh, fucking hell, normal press-ups, just bang, 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 bang. <sighs> Don't know. My audience will probably be able to tell you more than me, probably 80, something like that. But I'm not gonna do them like that. <laughs> I'm gonna make these fuckers hurt. Three to five seconds down, three to five seconds at the bottom, and then three to five seconds up. These are gonna hurt. No, sorry, just push up, so, right. So basically, very slow negative to a hold at the bottom with my chest about this much off the floor, yeah? Um, and then push up. Down, slow, hold, push up. Down, slow, hold, push up, okay? Um, this is to just increase strength in the chest um, rather than actually pumping the muscle. I ain't got no weights with me to do any weight. Push-ups, bro, I would. Oh, believe me, bro, when I tell you, I can do a lot of push-ups, you know, bro. <laughs> like, that push-up, 
expert here. But today, I just want negative slow. Hold. Push. Look at that, it's heat, man. God damn. Fucking hot as a motherfucker out right here. So, yeah, they're controlled. Very controlled. Very, very controlled. <laughs> so, yeah. If you want to be a beast, you want to be a god, do this shit. Let's make it fit as a fiddle. And strong. All at the same time. And that's what we want, folks. Strength and power. Strength and power. Strength and fucking power. <sighs> now the shadow boxing is going to be very tame because I don't want to wear my shoulders too much because obviously I'm playing golf over the weekend. So this is just to keep them loose. So just a few hooks, not even many. Just a few hooks. Um, and that'll be enough really. I don't need nothing too major here. Them press-ups, by the way, will make you fucking strong. They're different to normal press-ups. You want to feel that stretch all the way down. And then when you hold at the bottom, you want to be holding that stretch. But then when you push up, you're pumping your fucking chest. Every rep is like that. It's mental. It's mind-muscle connection. Okay? It's not just pumping them out. You're not not thinking about it. Every single fucking rep matters. Okay? You won't get nowhere near as many of them. Is what you can do normally. Like if you can do 20 press ups, yeah? How are you doing? I'm all right, man. How was school? You good? Annika's got her last exam today. She's fucking buzzing. See you in a bit. So, uh, one of Annika's mates. Um, so, yeah. You basically want to keep it on the chest. Keep it on the chest. And focus, man. Focus. Focus. The more mind muscle connection, the better you'll do. I can probably do 80 press-ups, like in a one but when I'm doing them, what did I do, like 20? So if you equate it, put it down by four times. So if you can do like 20 press-ups, you're probably only gonna do about five of them, you know? But that's normal if you're doing them properly, all right? Uh, tips for gaining weight, you wanna eat every three hours, religiously, but don't eat too much shit, all right? Yeah, just don't eat too much shit, bro. They're not too fast and not too hard. Oh, 
I would say probably give it 70% speed and 60% power if you're trying to achieve what I'm achieving today, which is just loosen my shoulders for golf by punching and transferring my body weight. So, transfer. Transfer. Come on, little man. Hello, basketball. Fair play, lad. Transfer. Not too fast. Now, nice, lengthy, slow ones. Get my arms stretched. Now, warm down. Right, young man. Now remember, spit those swallow. <laughs> Yeah, don't swallow because you'll get stitched. And we've still got to run back. So don't swallow. <laughs> spit, swirl round and spit. So warm down, warm down. Now, prepare yourself for the run back. What I'm gonna do is twist my torso a little bit. <clears throat> so, twist, 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 twist. 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 Right then. Just over a mile back. Tell you what, it's very hot out here today. Very fucking hot. Like mega hot. Oh. 
super hot out here today. I ain't even no gas, YouTube. It's fucking boiling, mate. It's fucking boiling, YouTube. Doing all this physical exercise in this kind of heat ain't no fucking joke, mate. So yeah, run back now, just over a mile. So we will have done the three mile by the time we finished. Press ups, shadow boxing, a little bit of twisting. Then I'll go back, I'm gonna get my 20 key bar and rip out loads of reps with squats. I'm gonna squat that 20 key bar till my legs die. Yeah, I'm playing golf on Sunday. So the pain's gonna hit me on fucking Saturday. Um, I'll be on live later this afternoon, singing and fucking about with you all. Yeah, but for now, we need to get this fucking run on, like Donkey Kong. No messing about with the big fat schlong. Let's get it on. Right. Okay. Let's go. Finish when I get to the field. Basically. Cheers, little man. <laughs> it's like I'm not little. Well, you're up to my waist, so to me, you're little. It's been quite a good run, to be fair. It's very hot, man, that's why. So, it's made it, like, harder. It wouldn't have been this hard if it wouldn't have been this fucking hot. Jesus Christ. It's a lot easier to run in the winter than it is when it's baking. I found that you can always get warmer, but when you're red hot, you can't always cool down, YouTube. I swear. I figured that shit out. So yeah, running in the summer and training and shit is a lot harder than running in the winter. But because it's harder, it's harder on you, which makes it better on you. <laughs> and it's always good to get some sunlight to your bones. It's always good. Oh, and believe me, talking to you all and running at the same time is no fucking joke. Believe me on that one. Half a mile down. Half a mile to go. Fucking hell. It's baking. Bright blue skies though. Very pretty. Blue's my favourite colour, so it's buzzing for me. Oh, some shade. Always nice when you're a bit of shade. Oh, I hope I'm finished strong. Because the last 100 metres, I always try and sprint. It's not necessarily a sprint after this much running, but it's a lot faster than the jogging. I wonder if I'll be able to do it. Of course I fucking can. Of course I fucking can. There's no such word as can't in my fucking brain. Chest. Do as you're told. Breathe, bitch. Four 
400 meters to go. Some more air, some more muscles for the last sprint. <sighs> Cheers, brother. Thank you, mate. Right, 100 meters. Fuck. Oh my God. Oh. Fuck. I'm gonna walk off. Oh man, Jesus. When I'm doing that, by the way, what I'm doing is I'm dumping all the carbon dioxide out of my blood to allow more oxygen in so I can recover faster. Give me one second, I'll be back to normal. Now I'm back to normal. Yeah, that was a good run, man. That was like a really good run. That last bit fucking killed me. I'll take you back to the house now. Go and sit down, make myself a cup of tea. Smoke a doobie. Have a chat to you all for 10 minutes before I get on with shit, all the shit I've got to do. I can't see your comments right now because the sun's shining. While I was running, something fucking stung me. I think a bee stung me. Like literally whilst I was running, I can see the sting mark in my leg. I felt it when I started to sprint, so I think I literally ran into a bee at full speed and he wore fucking happy. But I'm not bothered, it's only a bee sting, I'll be all right. I know it's a bee sting, so I can see the fucking hole in my leg. But yeah, I'll be all right. I'm kind of like immune to a lot of shit. Superhuman, I know. <laughs> See now, I can drink, you see, as I finished, so I'm not mad about a stitch now, does it? So, now I can drink some fucking water. Now if you notice, I'm not walking like a bitch here. I'm walking back with purpose. I'm not, oh, I'm dying. Oh, it's too hot. Oh, no. Hold on, for some reason I've zoomed in. Right, no, I'm not. So I'm not like, oh, oh, I'm dying. Oh, I'm a fuck man. Shoulders back, head up. Always a beast. Always a beast. If you notice, I didn't even sit down to recover. See that shit? Mate, always a fucking beast. Always shoulders back. Always head up. Always working with confidence. Walking, walking like a beast. Nothing ever holds me down. Posture, strong. Spine, strong. Legs, strong. Soul, strong. Everything, strong. Always strong. Nothing but strong. 
mind and body linked like a machine. Literally, like a fucking machine. I'm gonna go back now, have a cup of tea, smoke a doobie, yeah? And then I'm gonna do fucking 300 squats in my bar. <laughs> Gary Duncan, eat your heart out. Oh, I didn't even want to mention his name no more. My mistake. Anyway, eat your heart out, bro. Get some of this shit done. It was just over three mile in the end. About three and a half. But I liked to up it a little bit. So it was a godsend, really. But the canal was closed. Because then it wouldn't have made me turn the other way. And I would have just ran the three mile. So, because I ran probably about, well, between three and three and a half. Yeah. Fucking, it done me well, really. Because it made me run a bit further, didn't it? And more exercise is always good than less exercise, you know what I mean? Always is. So I walk at the speed that most people fucking run. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> it's all uphill, back to my house as well, which is good. Because it means I've got to storm uphill, which is what I'm doing. Just storming. <sighs> fucking storming Norman, eh? Have it. Have it. You can imagine how this will benefit me on the golf course, though, Koya. Huh? You can imagine how this kind of training, getting so much fitter, will benefit me on the golf course. Oh, yes, it will. in my house compared to out there. Not proper cool. Right, one minute. One minute. You 
want to be a beast. You want to be a god. Welcome to Valhalla! I saw you talking to the old father. You want to be like me. You want to be part of the Asia. I will show you how. I will take you under my shield and show you the ways of a warrior. <laughs> For when you die, do you not want the Valkyries to come and take you to where the old father waits? to prepare your soul for Ragnarok. 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 All hail Odin. Prepare your soul for Ragnarok. Prepare your soul for Ragnarok. Prepare your soul for Ragnarok! All hail Odin! <laughs> Hello everybody. <laughs> yes, guns. <laughs> Oh man. Yes, Mark, did you like that? <laughs> it was like a little movie script or something like that, wasn't it? <laughs> yes, Shubby, how you doing, man? <sighs> yes, nice, how you doing, man? Are you good? <laughs> yes, Mark. That was a pure battle call to all my battlers out there. You want to be a beast? Follow me. I will show you the way to enrich your soul with blood and bottle. <laughs> this is but a mortal shell that houses your warrior spirit. When you die, you don't die. You get stronger for the next life. <laughs> I'm great, Nathan, man, I'm good, good. Just finished a, a good little cardio workout there. I'm gonna smoke myself a doobie now. And then go and do hella squats, mate, hella squats. Yes, Mark. <laughs> oh, the Matrix would be fucked if I fucking mobilised my troops, wouldn't it? God damn, I reckon, I reckon you put me on a stage in front of two million and I'll get two million to follow me, mate. Boosha, boosha, waking up a circle, boosha, 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 Good training, to be fair, it's good training. I am currently quite fucking fit, mate. You know what I mean? Do, do you know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, at the end of the day, listen, Mark, I fucking, I ran uh, just over three mile, yeah. Done some shit in between, some shallow boxing, some press ups and that. Yeah, and spoke all the way through, you know, bro. <laughs> That's how fit I am now, right? I can talk whilst I'm running. For the whole motherfucking time, bro. I can talk whilst I'm running. <sighs> in this heat as well. <laughs> God damn, God damn, I'm a fucking machine, man. I'm a, you know, it's all of you. You know that, right? <laughs> yes, Mark. It's all of you, folks. It's all of you. It's not a dishcloth, it's a tea towel. It's what we dry our pots with, but I've got like 
It's not a dishcloth, bro. It's a tea towel out my drawer. I've got about 30 clean ones in there. Do you think we'll just have one? Fucking hell, bro. I've got about 30 in that drawer and they're all clean. It's so it's what we wipe up our washed pots with. But a dishcloth, what we clean them with, is over on the sink. It's like a cloth. It's not like that's a tea towel. You're not from England, are you? I can tell you're not from England, or you'd know. Anybody from England knows what that is. It's a fucking tea towel. Not that we do anything with tea with it. I don't know why we call it a tea towel. Actually, that's a bit counterproductive. I don't know. There's got to be a better name than a tea fucking towel because at the end of the day, we don't we don't do nothing to do with tea with it. It's a bit counterproductive that name. Yeah, right. But that's what it's used for. It's used for just wiping up the pots when they've been washed. You know, in the wet, just wiping the wet off and putting them away. About twenty in there. Well, yeah, right now it's a sweat rag. <laughs> yeah, look, I'll show you, look. No, I can't believe I'm showing somebody this. Dishcloth. Tea towels. Bloody wipe myself with a dishcloth, bro. You think I am? <laughs> I'm a clean guy, you know. I don't like no dirtiness around me, bro. Oh man. Oh man, these squats are gonna fucking kill me. Oh yes they are, they're gonna kill me. They're gonna absolutely kill me. <sighs> Have you been enjoying all the videos of late? Have you all subscribed to the golf channel? At the end of the day, it is me, and there is, will be some funny footage on that golf course, some really good shots played, some shit shots played, me in bushes, trees. I am currently about 13 stone five, bro. I went up to about 13 stone seven. That's why, obviously, you can see that I've, you know what I mean, I've put on some size, yeah. Um, but you know something, bro, like I've lost about, I've lost about two pound in the last week, actively trying to lose the weight. So I've lost about two pound. Um, yeah, of course I can use a GoPro. I need to get a GoPro. Yeah, I can use a GoPro. But it wouldn't really be the best footage of a GoPro because you've got to think when the GoPro's on my chest here and I swing back and I swing forward, it doesn't really matter where you put the GoPro on me. Do you get what I mean? Like, because of my swing, the GoPro would be all over the fucking place. Do you know what I mean? It wouldn't work very well. What I am going to invest in is a, you know, a line so that when I hit my ball, you get the line. Now, I found one that maybe you can use on iPhone but it looks like it doesn't always work properly. Do you know what I mean? Like it's like, sometimes it's hit and miss. Sometimes you'll get the line. Sometimes you'll have to try and plot it in yourself. And sometimes it's not that easy to do. So I have looked into one and I think I'm gonna buy that because it's the only feasible one for iPhone. So hopefully I can get it and get it to work and then you'll get the line of my ball kind of thing. No, Basil, you can no way you can put a camera on the golf ball. It, it gets destroyed on impact straight away. That's yeah, guaranteed, bro. Especially how hard I swing. I have a very hard, fast swing. Like, seriously. Like, not if I'm swinging soft. If I, I mean, a lot of the time I take all my power out. Because if I swing hard, the ball goes too far, man. So, it would be good. Like, it'd be an ace to see the ball's eye view and I hit it with my one wood, wouldn't it? And it's just in the air. You see birds flying past it and everything. It'd be funny as fuck. Right, but... Nah, I destroy it, bro. I hit the ball so hard, you know. Even when I hit it soft, I, hit it, I swing faster than most golfers when I swing soft. Right? I mean, a lot of people say, no, you don't. You're not a pro. You've got to understand, golf swing speed has nothing to do with being a pro. It doesn't. It just has to do with balance and power and velocity, right? Which you lot know I possess bucket loads of. Do you think there is any golfer on the pro tour... I'm not being big headed, I'm just being honest. That has hand speed like mine. Of course not. Of course not. So do you think that the way that I move with my hands and all that does not equate to golf? Of course it does. And vice versa. Do you think the weight transfer and the snap of my hips through golf does not transfer to boxing or whatever? Of course it does. Of course it does. So them two sports pretty much complement each other pretty well, you know. Like if you're a semi-pro boxer and you want to get better balance and better snap for your punches and stuff, start playing golf. Seriously, it'll benefit you. Balance and everything. They're very similar. The golf swing to a punch is similar. It's very similar with weight transfer and that. Very, very similar. Um, so, yeah, people say to me, there's no way. 
What? So you think Rory McIlroy, who is five foot ten, right? He's got a beautiful swing, brilliant swing. Don't get me wrong, he can hit the ball far, man, amazing, right? But it is only weight transfer and timing. Now he weighs three stone less than me. He's got nowhere near the muscle that I can that I possess. Nowhere near the amount of forward momentum that I can create through the fighting that I've done and all that kind of shit. Nowhere near the velocity. So if I swing as hard as I can, yeah, oh, the speed of that golf club is something to behold. And if I hit the ball right, that's when it goes stupidly long, like 360, 70 yards with my driver. And that's no joke, like. The other day on camera, you saw me hitting 300 yard greens with my three wood. That's my three wood. I hit 300 yards. My three wood, that's not my driver. Yeah, my three wood, I can reach about 320. If I swing fast and swing hard and connect right, I can reach about 320, 330. With my three wood, my fucking five wood, I can hit 280 yards. My freaking five wood. But, oh yes, of course. Yeah, bro, listen, I'm not, of course, Basil. And so the thing is, I may hit further than a lot of the pros if I hit the ball right. They hit the ball right every fucking time. So they send the ball 310 yards, 320 yards, every single time, nine out of 10 drives. I send the ball there or further, five out of 10 drives. So that's not me saying I'm better than, are you mad? They've got me on every other part of the game. Seriously, my putting, to be fair, is not pro, but it's, I'd say semi-pro, my putting. My chipping is just good amateur. My iron work is just good amateur. My T work, distance-wise, distance-wise is pro, but accuracy-wise is not. Do you know what I mean? It's not. And I'm under no illusions about that. Like, when I say these things, it's not like I'm saying that I am, I'm as good as a pro, because I'm fucking not. So I'd be a pro, wouldn't I? I'm a realist. But I am a realist, so I always say the truth. I, I can hit the ball further than most pros on tour. Probably, if I hit the ball right and hard, most of them. But it is all down to muscle being transferred through the ball, velocity, weight transfer, speed, and everything. Obviously, I'm going to have that on a golf pro because I've trained all my life with swords and axes and fucking hands and everything, haven't I? Do you know what I mean? So it's realistic. People say it's not realistic. No, Danny, no, it's fucking real. It's on camera. Me hitting the ball way over 300 yards of a three wood. Yeah? Like virtually every time I step on the bastard tee with it. So what I'm saying to you is, it, like, I can prove this shit on camera, but then people think that when I'm saying I can drive the ball that far, that I'm saying I'm better than a pro. No, I'm not. Nowhere near as good as a pro. Nowhere fucking near, mate. Nowhere near. The distance between me and a pro is so far. Well, the distance between me and a pro is at least 10 shots. Do you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, there's a big, there's a big difference there, bro. There's a big difference. They're pros. I'm not. There's the reason they're pros. <laughs> because they're way better than me. They're way, way better than me. But I can hit the ball as far as them. <laughs> but with me, with a driver, if I, you know, if I tried to swing hard, like swing hard, I can hit probably five out of ten straight if I swing hard. Like it's more about with me with a driver. I can hit the ball over 300 yards every time if I swing soft. So it's more about swinging soft. Like I have hit some monster drives in my life, stupidly long, ridiculously long. But it's been when my timing's been perfect. I've been swinging hard for a few months and I've got it perfect. My weight transfer with the velocity of everything, I've got it perfect. But that's been very few times in my life where I've had it perfect, where I've been hitting more than five out of 10 fairways with a hard drive. That's just being honest. That's why I use a lot of irons off the tee. I only use like my driver or three wood really on par fives because I don't need it for any other hole on the course. Unless there's a, unless there's a par four green that caters to how I hit the ball. So when I hit the ball perfectly, I hit it slightly left to right, slightly. We're talking about five foot. But when I hit the ball perfectly, it goes up and slightly fades. That's my perfect strike, a slight fade, yeah? Dot draw, slight, it's always been the same, slight fade for me, right? So 
if I have a, say a path or where it's quite tight by the green with trees and stuff, but I've got a bunker on the right hand side of the green and the, t the, the pin is behind that bunker, but at the front of the green on the left, it's open and it kind of goes round behind the bunker to the pin. Then I could possibly get my three wood and have a go at the green because I'll always create a little bit of right spin. So it might hit the front of that green right spin and roll around the back of the flag. So I can go for that. But if it was on the opposite side now, so if, it, if, the, if the bunker was on the left hand side of the green and the pin was behind it, and I only had the angle on the right to go through, because I, I can't really hit a, fa um, a draw, I wouldn't be able to go for that. Like it would be, I wouldn't be able to like curl it round to get to land by the pin. I'd be able to go for the green, but I'd have to, have to land it in the centre of the green. I won't be able to use use a draw because I can't hit a draw. Well, I can hit a draw, but it's really fucking hard. So I don't. I'm a natural fader of the ball, so I can hit a fade. Like, I can make a ball move, no joke. 70, 80 fucking metres. Right, no joke. From left to right, I can make a ball move 70, 80 metres. On target as well when I'm playing well. But you ask me to make a ball move 20 metres with a fade, with a draw, I can't fucking do it. I just can't. It's really hard. I've always found it so hard to draw the ball. So fucking hard. Like really hard to draw the ball. Way harder than fade. And bunker shots with no bunk with no sanding. <laughs> I don't even know how you're supposed to do that shit, man. How the fuck are you supposed to get out of bunker no sanding, man? Is, is, is there anybody here who knows how to do it? Get a fucking bu bucket and spade. That's how you do it, Danny. Get a bucket and spade, lad. Get that bucket and spade out, lad. You're fucking digging. Bunker in no sand, you know. Oh, fuck's sake. It's a nightmare for a goal for that. It's an absolute nightmare for a fucking goal for oh. So come on then, chat. Chat to me. I'm still here. I'm just waiting for some to chat to me. I'm still here. <laughs> hair transplants? No, bro. I don't need hair transplants. What the fuck would I want hair transplants? I've got fucking too much hair as it is. Have you never seen? Oh, you've never seen it out, have you? Fucking bro, <laughs> this shit's tied back tight, you know. Like really, really tight. Yeah, bro. <laughs> oh, I'll turn the camera away so it'll be a proper shock to your system. Bro, you've never seen my hair out, have you? Oh, bro. I have so much hair. Like, my hair is so thick, bro. And so much. It's like, it is truly ridiculous, bro. <laughs> and this, like. <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> Look, bro. <laughs> my hair is thick, brother. Do you know what I mean? Trust me on that, yeah. I don't need no hair transplants. Won't need them for a long time. Because <laughs> man's got some. <laughs> man's got some fucking hair going on. <laughs> uh, I have a high hairline, but I've always had a high hairline. Uh, always, yeah. But now, bro, I have so much hair. Like, so much. It's stupid the amount of hair I have. It's just because it's always tied back, people don't realise just how much I have. It's like it's like an optical illusion, isn't it? <laughs> it's literally like an optical illusion, bro. Because when it's tied back, you don't look like there's much there. But when I untie it, it's like pow pow. <laughs> yes, cunt. Exactly. If I ever started to get bald, do you actually bald? I'd just shave it off. I won't fuck about it. Just shave it off. Bald. Totally bald, bruv. Gone. Whole hair. Bald Danny G. Fuck that shit. 
<laughs> no, I can spam that in my <laughs> you never have you never seen it, Mark? In the Viking era before, bro. My hair's in really good condition as well. It smells nice, you know, my hair. My smells like my hair smells like coconut. <laughs> yes, Max. I'll show you. Look how long my hair is, watch this. When I get it actually out. Watch. <laughs> If I straighten my hair, that's how long my hair is. I know, because my wife straightened it to see how long it would be. Yeah, it's fucking down here. My hair is man. if I straighten it. It's just I have very, I have very curly hair. Yeah. So fucking, so like, but look how long my hair actually is. Now, when I get to the hairdressers, he will cut that much off my hair. It's stupidly quick. Like it will not 